Okay, let's walk through page one of the exam, Thanksgiving dinner. The average length of a Thanksgiving dinner in 2000 for all American homes was reported to be 257 minutes. We speculate that the mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner for all American homes in 2018 is less than that in 2000. A study was conducted in 2018 which involved a random sample of 40 American homes. The lengths of their Thanksgiving dinners are summarized by the following output from R. So the first thing we want to do is figure out what type of scenario we're dealing with here. We only have one random sample of data from 40 American homes in 2018, and we have a known mean from 2000, which is 257 minutes. So we don't want to get this confused with paired data or even two independent means because we're only dealing with one sample and trying to compare that sample and its average to a known value from a previous time. So here we have the situation of simply one population mean, mu. All right, let's move forward with the problem now. Use the above results to complete the following statement. The lengths of Thanksgiving dinners in minutes for the 40 sampled American homes in 2018 varied from the sample mean length by roughly blank minutes on average. So we want to know, on average, how far our individual observations for the sample of 40 vary from that sample mean from that sample of 40. So here we're simply after the standard deviation of our sample of 40 homes. So all we have to do is add that value here. Moving on to part B, clearly state the hypotheses to be tested and define the parameter of interest in the context of the study. Well, we know the mean from 2000 was 257 minutes. And we want to know if the population mean in 2018 has decreased. So for the null hypothesis, we have that mu is equal to that original 257 minutes. And we want to know if in 2018 that value has decreased at all. So we have our hypotheses set up. Now we have to define the parameter mu. And here, mu represents the population mean. From there, we simply have to add context. So if we head back to our problem and look at the context that we have, we have the mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner for all American homes in 2018. We can simply add that in with our context down here. So again, mu represents the population mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner for Let's just check that context again for all American homes in 2018. So for all American homes in 2018. So all I did was pull that context directly from the problem background to define our parameter mu. Okay, moving on to question C. The plot at the right can be used to determine if the one sample t-test is reasonable to perform. Clearly state the assumption this plot is used to assess in context. So we see that we have a QQ plot, and we know that QQ plots are used to help check our assumption of normality. Because they're asking for the stated version, we have to state about our population being normally distributed. We also should note here that they're asking specifically to state this assumption in context. So it's not just enough to say that the population is normally distributed. We must say the population of what? So here we want to write that the population of, and again, I'm just going to take this context from above. So we're looking at lengths of Thanksgiving dinners for all American homes in 2018. So the population of lengths 
of Thanksgiving. Dinners for all American homes in 2018. So we've got our context there, so the population of that. We'd like that to be normally distributed, is normally distributed. So this is our stated assumption. Remember, we check that with the sample of 40 American Thanksgiving dinner lengths, but the stated version is about the population, that true model. Okay, moving on to question D. If the mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner for all American homes in 2018 has not changed from that in 2000, what is the expected value for your test statistic? So let's kind of break down what they're trying to say here. If the mean Thanksgiving dinner length in 2018 has not changed. So really what they're saying with this entire statement here is they're saying mu is still equal to 257. So they're saying if the null is true, so if H naught is true, what is the expected value for our t-test statistic? Well, we think about what that distribution would look, look like. Remember our t-distribution It's symmetric, slightly wider than a normal distribution. Here we would have t and 39 degrees of freedom. But when we're thinking about the expected value, we simply want to know what the mean of this distribution is. And we know that the mean of our t distribution, it's centered around a value of 0. So all we're saying here is if the null hypothesis is actually true, and this is our distribution for our test statistic, what is that average value? that average value, that expected value, is simply zero. And then finally, question E. Provide one recommendation to consider in a future study for increasing the probability of correctly concluding that the mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner in 2018 has decreased compared to Thanksgiving dinners in 2000. So again, let's kind of break down what they're trying to say here. So they're saying the mean length of a Thanksgiving dinner has decreased. So this right here, we're saying the alternative is true, that there is a decrease in that population mean. And we are correctly concluding this idea. So if we think about what they're asking for here, they're simply talking about the power of the test, the ability to correctly reject H0 we think about what we could do to increase power, we have two options. We could increase the sample size. Or our other option is that we could increase the significance level. which is our value of alpha. So either of these two options would have been correct for part E. And that concludes page one.